What's around everyone? How y'all doing out there? How has this full moon in Libra? How's that been going, right? All right, so this is gonna be about what you need to balance. Okay, so what right now, whether it's love, whether it's business, whether it's career, whether it's personal growth, relationships, yeah, whatever it is, what is it that you need to balance? And this is going to go by your zodiac sign, um, and then your sun, moon, and ascendant of that zodiac sign. So, if it's for Aries, it's for Aries, sun, moon, and ascendant, okay? Or some people like to say rising, sun, moon, and rising. Same thing. <laughs> it just means it's in your first house. That's all. So... Let's get into the energies of the Libra full moon. Now that we're fully into it, let's see what kind of advice these cards have to tell you about how to balance or what needs to be balanced. Enjoy. What's around Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Ascendants? This is your full moon reading for the full moon in Libra or the pink moon, the flower moon. The water moon, the egg moon, uh, however you want to look at it, <laughs> right? Uh, you got the knight of wands, okay? So you are really passionate about something, um, Scorps. Um, what is that, okay? And you take an action about your passions as well, like you about that life. You're not playing with it, and we still have some lingering Aries energy over, so you must have started this fire during Aries uh, season because we just rolled into Taurus. So whatever it is, it inspires you to be very impulsive as hell. And you just like, I'm out, I'm, I'm going, and you're driven and nobody can't tell you or your horse anything, okay? So something has got you, I don't know, something clicked and you just went. That's, that's exactly how it went. And, and, and that's a good thing. I mean, this is 2022. I mean, time is speeding up like no other. So definitely whatever you're passionate about, um, interested in, um, looking into learning about, whatever it is, you are dead fast on it and you're not being distracted or deterred. Yes, you may have issues that come along and you know hurdles and things like that, but you're gonna get over it. You're gonna blast right through it. If you keep, you know, doing what you're doing, just make time, make sure you just take some time, you know, to rest, you know, take time to pull your horse over, feed it, you know, make sure you feed yourself too, get you some water, you know, and then get back on your mission again. It takes like three minutes to pee. <laughs> so even though you are your passion and you giddy up, giddy up, I don't want you or your horse to be all, you know, um, exhausted and dehydrated. Um, for others who are like, I ain't got nothing going on in my life. Everything is just all over the place. I don't even know where to begin. All right, it's time for you to get in the closet. Just go on in there and get your clothes. Let everybody know you'll be gone to September, okay? So, <laughs> so it's time for you to, metaphorically, to take time for yourself, okay? And figure out why. Is your thoughts scattered? Why is your emotions scattered? You're just all over the place. You can't even pin it down. Yes, this is a, a water moon. Water is flowing right now. The ice is starting to split and it's starting to break. So nothing is fixed anymore, you know. Even the soil is loosening up due to the worms and all the other creepy color things down there that's making it, you know, help it, you know, um, defrost a little bit faster and aerate. Okay, so basically that's what you probably need to do at this point, you know. It's kind of take some time out, especially if you're getting frustrated. Like you've been working on something, working on something, working on something. You've been putting all this energy in, all this energy in, all this, and it's just not working. Take a step back because, one, it could be not working to you, but as far as the bigger, broader picture it's just like three steps down. You just got to keep going three more steps and boom, there you go. What you've been wanting to happen or to see that it's working is going to happen. You have to keep going. Or you have to be real with yourself and be like, is this for me or am I forcing this? You know, because sometimes we put ourselves, our own self into lies 
and you know if you keep telling a lie over and over it can be believable you know after a while it can be believable especially if you're telling your own self these lies i mean like after a while once i i'll be like yeah you're right because it's easier to give up you know this energy right here is an energy of go it's not an energy of i'm just sitting back chilling and things are just gonna go with me just sitting back and chilling no nah, this is a card of action scorpios this is definitely a card of action um and if you are having any frustration it's, it's a it's a full moon time so yeah you got all the time that the moon is um is waning shedding you have all that time to really reconsider reconcile rethink reanalyze put the light on this dim the light on that you have all that time to redo your plan and really be real with yourself you know especially if you're not seeing any progress is this really what, what i want to do or not because otherwise you're just burning fuel right now gas is just too expensive to just be wasted it on some person place a thing that you don't even want to waste it for like what's the point of having all this fire energy and like you know what just go back in the water then just go back in the water scorpios if you're going to be like that there's no sense of coming up okay if you're not going to use all this fire um to push you on to um the route the adventure that you would like to take in this life have a good day and night, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Descendants, Brothers, Virgo, Full Moon Energy.